Mike. What's up? What's up, dude? How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. You always put a little smile on my face. Yes, sir. Holy yeah. smokes. You are a big dude. How, how tall are you? 6'2". Yeah. 6'3". <laughs> I like it. Played sports. Yeah, I played football. football. Oh, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. You know so, you, you love football. <laughs> so you, this is your fifth year. Sure. Fifth year with us. So Big Mike comes from, wait, where are you from? South Carolina. South Carolina. Yes. And you're in North Carolina now, good old Fayetteville. Good old Fayetteville. Uh, you like the market? I love it. It's uh, one of the best, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is, it's amazing. All right, Big Mike, want a couple, or I want to cover a couple good nuggets with you on this uh, little ride along, all right? Okay, so you came from a sports background, mm -hmm. you played college football, what position? Defense Ben. Yeah. <laughs> How did you handle all those hits, dude? It was rough, man. <laughs> Three knee surgeries later, you know? <laughs> no way. Yeah. And you're doing door-to-door -door now. And I'm doing door-to-door. -door. Wow. Yes, so sir. tell me this. How how has like your your background in uh, being a college, college athlete uh, helped you with door-to-door -door sales? Um, just being an athlete, like there's a couple of traits you need to become like a successful person to be an athlete. Okay. Um, first thing you need to do is you got to be self-disciplined um, and just on a daily basis, whether that's just going to class, being on time for class, um, the, the details of being an athlete because it's not just going out and tackling each other. Like, <laughs> It's more in detail. Yeah, you can't play sports like that unless you have good grades, right? Exactly. You go to class. Exactly. Uh, I'm with that. I think school teaches great discipline. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Okay. And one thing with this job, door to door, like you have to be self-disciplined because no one's out there working right beside you. Like you're out there by yourself, so you have to be super self-disciplined. And that was one of the things that I feel like um, being a collegiate athlete really helped me out. When you were being recruited um, and kind of introduced to the whole door-to-door, -door, did you see any correlations with uh, your athletic background and Vivint, or did it take some time for you to understand and realize how similar they were? Um, it took me some time to like really realize like how similar it was. But the biggest thing like with me um, was just like I knew nothing about sales when I first started this job. Nothing about sales. Um, the only thing I knew is just how to work hard, how to tackle people, <laughs> and <laughs> that's about it. You tap your customers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. And so, um, I would say like, the, when I first started this job, just like, I saw the big picture, but also I, I knew that I had to, to hone in on learning the skill of selling. Yeah, let's talk about big picture, right? Mm -hmm. So you come into this, uh, your first year, you do what, 30 accounts? <laughs> Not even 30 accounts. You didn't even 30, 30 accounts. <laughs> right? I did 30 accounts. Okay, so you did 30, you killed it with 30 <laughs> accounts, right? Um, most of the time people have to have, or not have to, but a lot of times people are like, hey, I didn't have a good year, I don't I don't want to do this again, mm -hmm. right? What, what was your mental attitude with, or mental state coming back your second year? And then even your third year, fourth year, you never really had a massive year, right? Like a blowout year from one year to the next. Mm -hmm. How did you maintain coming back year after year? What was your mental state there? Um, I mean, going back to my background, playing football, like I wasn't the all-star athlete when I first started playing football. It, it took six years of being consistent and actually been a student of the game for me to get a, a college scholarship. Six and, years. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so that translated over to this job. Okay, so this year you came into this pretty pumped. Yeah. Right? You you had gone out, you had recruited really well, you mm -hmm. had uh, you had built a team underneath you and you go to Florida and the whole COVID nineteen <laughs> really mess some stuff up, but you go to Florida and you don't perform at the level that you're used to, especially coming off of your fourth year. 
fourth, your fourth year was a good year. Mm-hmm. And you come to Florida and you almost, you not a lot of you didn't die, but you were like dying. Yeah. Right? And not surviving got there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were barely <laughs> surviving, right? Um, if there's anyone that's had a massive slump, it's been Big Mike. How did you get out of that slump coming from the high that you were at before the summer started? All the way hitting the low, and then to where you're right now. How'd you get out of that slump? Um, one of the things I was missing with that was my routine, my daily routine. I wasn't consistent with my routine. Some days I feel like I'll go work out. Some days I'll sleep in to 20 minutes before the meet out in Florida. Okay. Um, once I honed in on my my daily routine, I do it every single day. And every single day I sell. So tell me about that. What is your routine in the morning? What what do you what do you do to get ready for the day? So I set my alarm clock the night before. Um 7 a.m. I have to wake up and be out of bed every day at 7 a.m. Okay. Um once I wake up at 7 a.m. Uh, I'm a Peloton. I, I love Peloton. Oh so wait, the, the bike? Yeah, and the treadmill. Night. Oh, what? oh okay. Yeah. The, they even have like workouts that you can just do outside, bodyweight workouts. Yeah. Okay. And so um, each day I do a 30 minute build time workout. And then after the build time workout, I meditate for 10 minutes. Once I do that, my tank still to go dominate the day. Okay, so Big Mike, you've been the most consistent rep in Fayetteville. Mm-hmm. Right? You don't have your super, like, 15 weeks, but you don't have a week where you're doing two, right? It's very consistent. Um, how have you maintained that consistency or what's your mindset with that? Um, I would say like the result of my mindset by doing the same things every single day before the doors, it produces consistency because I have to do my day routine every single day. And if I feel like I don't do it, As a result, for me doing my daily routine, it just shows my production. It's just each and every day, week after week, and year after year. And another thing is with this job, just being even killed. Like, don't get too high with the highs and don't get too low with the lows. And at the end of the day, like, I can sell five accounts that day, I can sell one. My mindset is the same, even kill. So just keeping your emotions in check, um, that, that's big, because your emotions affect your actions. Your yep. actions affect your results. Yes, <laughs> I love it. Um, this summer, you're gonna be on pace to sell about what, 150 accounts or so? Mm-hmm. What do you make this summer? Four months. 80,000. 80 grand in four months. Four months. Wow. Okay, man, we're going to roll up, let you out, and go finish the day. Thanks, Big Mike, for spending some time with us. Yes, sir. Let's have a good day. Yes, dude. Peace.